Minago yabe namakota jemacha nakoniya techina. Amba washday. Weedo ha washday. It's a new month. Tashni choda hagiakta hawi, which means the gray squirrel is looking back. I found several um, spellings on it, but this is the one I like the most. Now, uh, Ambanen, um, we're going to, you notice how we gave you um, a bunch of words to build your word vocabulary. Today we're going to give you um, some more words for your vocabulary, but today we're going to give you some, some of the wamnuhashks, those are the bugs. Some of the um, wamnukashk. Or, well, I guess they're all, it's called the wamakashka is another way to say it. And those are animals. And the zitkana, the zitkana would be the birds. Um, so, I don't know what I, since I said I was going to start with the bugs first. Oh, maybe we'll just start with the um, We'll start with uh, uh, the, the animals first. Some of the animals, and I didn't do all the animals. I did a animals that were, um, you know, pretty close to here. I'll throw a couple of animals in there maybe that you... Um, tatogana, Tatogana. I don't know how much of those we have around here. But those are the antelopes, or antelope, I guess. It's not the antelopes, it's not plural. Tatogana, those are the antelopes. This one should be easy for you. Most of us have this. Have one outside. They're shungas. Those are the dogs, our dogs. Shunga. A shunga tea be your, your uh, hik, hiknatu, you can throw him in here, shunga tea. That's your husband there. We'll do another easy one. Let's do this one here. If you have, if you have, uh, anim if you have dogs, a lot of you have cats, or maybe you have a mustinja. Also, that makes good soup too. And those are rabbits. Mustinja, buza, shunga. Uh, I know if you're um, if you're into um, your traditional culture and you're a dancer, maybe you use pahin. Maybe you do lots of you use a lot of um, pahin quills, huh? And those are your porcupine. I don't know how to spell porcupine. Oh yeah, close. Pork you pine. Pahin. You can color them different colors. They make beautiful beadwork. Um, I've heard different different uh, variations of how, how to say this. Um, you can say shunga tang, shunga tanga, shuga tang, or shua tang. But that all translates into a big dog. If you see the shunga and the shunga tang, that that would be your horses. What it translates to is a big dog. Maga, maga. They will all be sleeping soon. Your maga. That's your skunk. Maga nina sewi. That ma skunk is very stink. Maga. Snow hen. Snow hen ish ishtimit. The snow hens will also go to sleep too. The snow hens. Those are your snakes. Snow hen ish ishtimit. These are all these these guys will be going to hibernate for the winter now that fall is here. New month. Um, I'm going to tell you about the, the mouse now. It's Bispizana. Bispizana. Oops, this is an S, sorry. Bispizana. And that is a mouse. But, like you'll find when I tell, tell, um, give you some of the vocabulary for the bugs, Bispizan is also referred to other rodents. You can, that can, a uh, Bispizan.
sorry, a pizina. That's a gopher. And you'll notice the the they're pretty much the bispizans also. I think a bispizana tanga is a rat, if I'm not mistaken. I, I didn't do all of them though, but that's just an I I'll give you a good idea of the bispizanan and the bis bizana. Bizana. That's the gopher. Um, also, I was going to tell you about the shungatang. Um, I forgot that. I noticed that uh, the, when, we, when back in the day we, we called a lot of the sihap, sihasab uh, shunk, shunkmano. That's a, that's a, a, um, a horse thief. Shukmano, the, the Blackfeet stole lots of our horses, huh? Shukmano. I'm just kidding, I just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> Shoktogen, Shuktogen, Shunktogen. <laughs> I was going to say that, but I didn't think I should. We're pros. Shunktogen. Shunktogen, and that is your wolf. Shuktogen tongue. I only took the simple wolf, just a simple wolf. There's all, there's a timber wolf. There's different, but the, this is just basically the wolf. Kea, kea, kara, sorry, kara. That's your turtle, kara, kara. I don't know how to say island. I know there's a word for island, but I'm sorry, I don't know it. Um, shunkshana, shunkshana. Do you see the shunga? Shunga, dog. Shunga? Wonder what shunk, Shunkshana would be. What do you think? Shunkshana. And that is your fox. It's a red dog is what it, it translates to. Shunkshana. I'm... I'm Hihaka, hihaka, that's what it is. That, that it, I'm not saying it right, just wait, give me a minute. Hihaka. Yeah, hihaka, 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 Where's, um, where's Wayne with his uh, phone? Just kidding. Hihaka, huh, hihaka, that's your elk, hihaka. Um, you know, you, you hear the peop you hear the elders and the, um, the different people when they talk about um, the Nakoda language and they say that it's um, a very descriptive language. Um, here's an example of um, a, a dis how, 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 how we use description to um, to describe things. Oh, this is, I guess, or Haska. Tahu Haska. We don't have any of those around here, but I bet you you couldn't tell me what that is. Huh? If our Nakoda language is, is um, a descriptive language, remember we went through body parts. Your neck is a Tahu, and we went through some of the. Um, shapes. Haska is to be long. So this translates to long neck, which in turn translates to a giraffe. I know we don't have giraffes around here. I just wanted to, I just wanted to use that as an example of how um, our, our Nakoda word is um, descript a descriptive language. Okay, we'll move on to the hora, hora. And it sounds like that. It sounds like fish. But it's not a, it's a ho, oh, that's why, hoga, and it is, a hoga is fish, this is a hoga, and that is a badger. If you listen to the fish, hoga, hoga, fish, hoga, yeah, and this is hoga. It's like, you want to go get some hoga? Yeah. go fishing. <laughs> hoga, that's a fish. But this hoga, if you notice the cap, it makes it makes your uh, hoga. Now we have 
Mato. Matoska. Do you remember? White bear? Mato. A bear. That is a bear. Also, we have another word for a bear. Um, that's how I first learned when I, when, when I first learned of a bear. This is the word that I use, but apparently it's not a bear. It's, a, well, I mean, it's a bear, but it's a, how do you make sure I spell that right? Wahangsija, Wahangsija, Wahangsija. And that is a grizzly bear. That's a grizzly bear, Wahangsija and a mato, the difference between those two. Next. What, what would be the breakdown of that? Uh, um, it's someone who that's, has bad feet. Yeah. Um, probably because of the claws, I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, I don't know, it has something to do with their bad feet. They have, it translates to having bad feet or, mm. and I think it's because of the big, the big claws. Now we all, um, our next word was going to be, what's on our nickel? Chaba, chaba. That is a beaver, chaba. Um, we used to have a lot of beavers where I come from, but about two years ago, I think when we had that big flood, they went around and this guy went around and he shot all the beavers. I haven't seen a beaver this year, but we had a lot at one time. Now this Emu, Emu, I notice um, if you live down in um, Broadview area, I see some of my Facebook friends down there, they have a lot of those coming through their, their valley there, and those are bobcats. Ikmu, Ikmu. A bobcat, Ikmu. Tatang, Tatang, you guys all know that, you guys all have to know that from a uh, from Dances with Wolves, or um, the, this is a buffalo, or a buffalo, a female, Tay, that's the cow of any, uh, the, oh, I don't have it here, but that's, that will always be referred to when you're referring to the female of the deer, the buffalo, or the elk and they're called ka uh, te. Now, I'm sh did I do coyote over here? No. Okay. Shukshana. Shungashana. 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 That's her. Uh, see, I'm sure I did, I did that over there, didn't I? You did Shukshana. Okay. Shana. Okay, Shungashana. This is... This is Shungashana, not the Shukshana. This is Shungashana. Yeah, I did Shungshana. Shungshana. I know it's the same. I guess they're spelt depending on where you come from, probably. Because I did, I did several references on this one here. Oh yeah, no. I'm gonna do coyote now. Coyote is Jukjukana. Jukjukana. Or shukjukna, jukjukna. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Jukjukna, yeah, jukjukna. Or I think they call them shukjuknas. No, it's it's spelt. It's um, oh yeah, no, that's right. That's a J. Shukjukna, and those both, I guess, um, depending on where you come from, because the Nakoda language is all like, um, we say the words the same throughout the Nakoda territory, but some words are spelt like with, with the different dialects, they're said just slightly different, and you say it whatever way the area you come from, um, when we first started teaching Nakoda, there was a lot of people that said, oh, you don't spell it this way or you don't spell it this way. Like I said, I don't care how you spell it. You spell it whatever way you can say it. Now we have a ta, 
Tan. Tan. I haven't seen a lot of those this year either, but we do have otters. I know Wayne was saying he seen otters yesterday, the other day when, in the, the valley down here. Tewana, Tewanya, 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 I'm not saying that right. Tewana, Tewana, that's how my mom used to say it, Tewano. But that is um, your common um, like cow where you get your beef from. Dewaya, Dewa. I'm not saying it right. Just wait. See when you when you're talking about cow meat, you say, uh, "Oh, now my mind went blank." It's spelt like this anyway. Dewano, Day. Playwania. It's your cow. I, I I'm not. I'm not articulating that right. And then we have our tachja. I can say that one right. And that is your deer. Tachja tano. And then we have tachjana. And those are that's your fawn. Tachjana. Tachjana. And that is your baby fawn. Those are just some of the, the common, um, other than your draft, I guess. Those are just some of the words that, um, some of the animals that are, that are, that we um, have that are regional to us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go on with the, your bugs. I've just got a couple of bugs, like the ones that are here, the mosquito, champunga, champunga. Champunga, champunga waji, uh, I was trying to say bit me and I couldn't remember how to say bite me. Champunga, champunga waji, imabutaga, the mosquito kissed me, I told you guys. <laughs> I couldn't think of bite, sorry. <laughs> and these are wamnuhashks, these are bugs. Wamnushk. 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 There's an A at the end, but I always say it. Wamnushka. Chumpang. Chump. I can't. Um, I'm trying to think of a. Chumpunga. That's a mosquito. Your common mosquito. Those will be going to sleep pretty soon as well. Then we have our housefly, our common housefly. Hochnachen, hochnachen, hochnachen. Your hochnachen water. I don't know. Hochnachen. <laughs> and those are your common houseflies. Um, now we have gimaman, gimaman. There's another. Um, There's a different spelling and another word, but we're, I'm going to use gimaman because it's the most uh, common, I, I believe. And that is your butterfly, or it can be referred to also with your moths. Also, the moths are called these. Tajuska, tajuska. Tajuska. No, I'm sorry. Tajushka. Tajushka. And those are your ants. I would imagine you would probably say Tajushka Shasha for your red ants. But those are your ants. Tachmaga. Remember the, the beef? Tachmoga Chesni? Honey? Tachmoga. Tachmaga. Tachmaga. Tachmoga. Tachmaga, sorry. It's kind of hard when um, I don't have somebody that, you know, I can um, 
hear the words because I'm not sometimes I'm, I know that I'm not articulating them too properly. Need an elder to, um, to say this word. But if you have problems with some of these, again, I'll have to refer back to your Fort Capel Tribal Council um, Nakota Apt. A lot of those, a lot of the articulations will be on there. Shushmeja, Shushmeja, Shushmeja. That's your dragonfly. That helps me a lot when I have, um, if I can't um, articulate something, you, and uh, I can find it on the app, then I will make sure that I refer to the app. October was a hard one. You might want to refer, <laughs> refer to the app for that. That's a lot of, uh, that's your dragonfly. We have a lot of dragonflies that eat the chumpang, chumpanga. Oh, here's a good one. Let's hope you don't have none of these here. Wamnushka Naska. A bug that's flat. What do you think that would be, huh? I notice you see all the you see if you you see a lot of the some of the hotels that uh See, you know, actually a lot of hotels that say don't stay here because they have bed bugs. Woga, woga. I know lots of people who are scared of these, but there's no need to be scared of them. That's your grasshopper. Woga. Tabachana, tabachana. You know what? Oh, I don't know why I put that there. I'm sorry, that doesn't belong there. Let's go on to the Wamnuska Sha. Wamnuska Sha. See if Wamnuska Mnaska is um, a bed bug. What would you think a Wamnuska Sha is? Close. Those are just a few of the bugs that are, are, are central to you. We're going to carry on with some birds. I don't have a lot of birds. I also have, I've got about maybe 10 or 12 birds. But I also want to go through the, um, there's, um, it, it translates to the natural pheno phenomenons, which means the, like the clouds and that, and it's dagu amichba, amichbaya. Or Kanoyabi, which is the environment. We'll carry on to some of those words as well after that, after I go through the birds. And then also I have some of the weather and also the stars. And then I've got a few verbs that I want to, I want to, because there's 54 ways to say I. I'm, I'm just going to share a few more of them with you. So let's carry on to the birds. Zitgana. And those are just birds. There's, uh, there's several ways that you can spell it. Oops, sorry. I, I, like I said, I, I, I don't care how, how you spell it. But they're birds. Zitgana. Zitgana. Let's start out with the biggest bird of all. One that um, our First Nations people have a lot of... Use them in a lot of their regalia. That's a wamni. Wamni. I noticed some. A lot of them have them in their 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 um, spirit names as well. <coughs> a lot of um, First Nations think these are bad luck. I don't know if how you feel about them, but uh, he ha, he ha. That's your owl, hee-ha. Hee-ha is ta zi makikira. That owl with yellow eyes looked at me. Hee-ha. Makusha. Makusha. They're gone back by now. They're probably gone back already. And... Now, remember last lessons, we had uh, the body parts and your maku was your chest. Maku sha, sha being red. It's a red breast. 
robin. That's a robin, makusha. And uh, like I said, your birds, any kind of bird. Zitkana toe, zitkana saba. Your zitkana toe would be your bluebird. Zitkana saba would be your blackbird. Aan, aan. There's another blackbird. Uh, and that's your crow, aan. They will be going back pretty soon too if they're not gone back already. I noticed they were a couple of weeks nights ago they were all gathering. Aan, aan. Now this makes some really good soup, you guys. How about some? How about some? Pahunda, pahunda. Pahunda ho, ho, um, Pahunda Wahambi uh, Mnoda. I ate duck soup. Now you could also eat Ambahotun soup. Ambahotun soup. Um, there's several spellings for this. I like this one here. It's, it's, what, it's what I remember when we were, uh, when I was growing up. Ambahotuna. And that is your, um, your your chicken, your farm chicken, your where you get your wink knee from, or your winka. Sorry, sorry, I'm telling you where you get your grease from, and your, I'm supposed to be telling you where you get your eggs from, your winka. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, this is a good one here. Not if you have them in, uh, in your on your on your porch, mind you. Chagadodon. Chaga dodona, chaga dodona. There we go. Chaga dodona. Chaga dod. Cha, changa, wood, dodona. Yes, it means that that to hit the wood over and over again, and that's your woodpecker. And then your prairie chicken, your shio, shio, shio. Shio tangam nuda. I ate a big prairie chicken. Uh, shio, shio, uh, I roasted a prairie chicken. <laughs> Sungpedo <laughs> 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 haska, sungpedo, sungpedo haska. Sorry, sungpedo haska. Sungpode haska, and that is your hawk. Now I gave, I just gave you your basic hawk. We have the several kind of hawks, and there are. There are words. There's the um, the gray hawk, red -tailed hawk, the red-tailed hawk. There, there, there is. But I'm just keeping it simple. I always get the red-tailed hawk sound mixed up, and then I think it's an eagle because of the squeak, the squeals that. How they do it? Yeah. Disney does this all the time, and it's actually a red-tailed hawk. An eagle is like a like it's a it's a yeah. squabble. You know, it's yeah. not a. Nice squeal. Super <laughs> That's a red tail hawk. <laughs> yeah, but there, there's others. There's other, but I'm just going to keep it simple for you guys. Shungpedu yeah. haska. Now, for this one here, we, I told you before that it was a pachni agasta, but it all could also could be a tahush. And I'll just, I'll write this one. I learned, but I learned about Turkey. When, when my mom and dad talked about Turkey, they said that they used the Pachni Agasta, but it's also known as, as a Tahush. Oh, now we have a big one here, Pahonda Tang. What do you think that is, huh? Pahunda tongue. Yeah. 
That's a Canadian, a Canada goose. And also, I've heard it referred to as Sihapa, Sihasab. Sihasab, yeah. And then we have a Tashi Yopopobena. Tashi Yopopobena. Now, I know we have meadow larks around here, but I don't know if I know what a meadow lark sounds like. Is that why the po, yo po, 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 bena? Have, does anybody know what a meadow lark sounds like? Yeah, it's kind of like a nice, like it's it's a really beautiful sound. Like it's like a, no, oh, I can't even make the sound, but it's like, it's like a warble too. Eh? Like, oh, like, see, because it's a, like yo po, po, bena. Oh, it's really See, that's what must be the yo po. Yeah. It must be yo po, like it's like like um, it's repeating sounds. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't, I don't think I've ever. If I heard it, I don't remember. But that's a meadow lark, and we have meadow larks around here. Uh, down down here? Yeah. Um, uh, in the morning time. When you go to the dam bridge there, yeah, you yeah. cross that and there's a big marshy area there. That's where you head out. I'll have to go looking for some. Yeah, nice sound. We also um now we have a Zitgan Wakmuha. Zitgan Wakmnuha. Pretty sure I self spelt that right. Yep. Sit Gana Wakmoha. I'm trying to, um, he's got something, he's carrying something. Huh? What do you think he's holding? Wakmoha. Sit Gana Wakmoha. You guys will never guess that one. I'm not even going to tell you. Let's move on. I'm kidding. <laughs> this, it's a hummingbird. I didn't, I couldn't figure out why Wakmoha. But that's what it is. It's a hummingbird. And I know we, they're gone back already. And those are just a few of the words that are, are um, I, could, I could go on. I could have went on and on and on, but I kept them short. Those are just some of the, the birds that are, are, are um, around or are going back. Now, we could... Um, Let's learn about, let's learn about Mako, Ma, Makocha, Makocha Ina. You know, if you notice they'll refer to that when they're saying prayers, and that is Mother Earth. Ina Makocha, when you, when, when they pray, you'll see, you'll notice they, and that's your, your Earth, Makocha. That's your Earth. Now, when you, when you look at the earth, I'm going to tell you some of the things that are on the earth. We have the peji, the grass. We also come, uh, comes on Mother Earth, the wiaska, 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 the sand, and then the opsijanum, opsijanum, which is the, the dirt or the ground. And that is the dirt or the mud or the soil, the dirt, the soil, etc. And then we also have the ias, ia, and those are the rocks. Upon all these, we also have Baha. Those are the hills. The Iahe, 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 sorry, Iahe, Iahe. And those are the mountains. Makocha. Omnaya, 
Makocha Omnaya. Oops, sorry, that's Makocha Omnaya. Makocha Omnaya, that is your prairies, the prairies. Because we come from the prairies, I want to make sure I included that. Then from the, 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 the this, we also have the Maninin, which are the ponds. Those are ponds. We also have uh, the Maninuza, the rapids, Maninuza. Why they say Nuza is because it goes swiftly, I'm, sp I'm thinking. We also have the Mani Waja, which is the seas. And that is the sea. We also have Mani Wajihi, Wajihe, which is the ocean. Just different um, spellings, different words. Um, and then mini chachacha, which is just the running water as well as the streams, I would guess, would fall into the streams. Mini chachacha. And that is running water, so that would probably fit into the streams. Mini chachacha. Mini tanga, the lakes. I could go on and on, but I'm going to stop there. You get the general idea, Manitanga. And then I'm going to, this was one of my favorite. I'll do one more. Mini Hinchpa. Mini Hinchpa. I'll spell that. Yeah. Mani Hinchpaya. And it's waterfalls. The waterfalls, that's what it says. That's what it actually literally translates to. Mani hichvaya, the waterfalls. Uh, then we have, also we have our cha, all kind of our woods, our wood that we, you know, we have birch. I could I could have went into all those, birch, redwoods, all that, but I'm, I won't. Then we also have the wachchachchan, wachchachchan. Wachchachchan, those are the flowers. I could also go on and on about the flowers. But those are mostly what may come, what come along here, Makocha, on your Ina Makocha. That's on Mother Earth. Just some small of the things. There's islands, there's some stuff that I didn't go, but these are mostly what, again, are regional to us or, or some of the words that you can use. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do these ones down here. I have enough room to do these ones down here. Now, we could either go on to the, um, let's go on to the solar system. The Winchachbia, Winchachbia. Those are the stars or the Imachbia, which are the clouds. Yep, let's start with the clouds. After, when we go up into the sky, we have the Imachbia. And those are the clouds. The sky, you say amachbia, not imachbia, amachbia. That is the the sky. And that is translates to the sky. See, amachbia, imachbia. Then we have the. Uh, Winchachbi, sorry. I was trying to think of an Indian name that I had heard, but I didn't. Winchachbi. That is your stars. Winchachbi. So if your Winchachbi is your stars, your Winchachbi Iyushna would be your Big Dipper, right? Winchachbi Iyushna. And that is your Big Dipper, and that translates to seven stars. 
stars seven. Winchach bi barebi. What do you think that would be? Remember when uh, Bahrebi is to be all together? So we're going to call that the Milky Way. Yeah, they, there's a, there's a, there's another word they call them. Uh, they, there's another. Um, the, the, the little cluster there. Wow. Oh, that's the sisters. Um, just, yeah, the other sisters. Yeah. Winchach yeah. bi And that is a falling star. I just threw that in there. Some people like to wish on falling stars. Now, is it? Warning star. Oh, <laughs> is it a? You can make a wish on me. Oh, you want to know fast? I thought that was a real deadly, I was thinking. <laughs> We've got two two words for this here. I've, I've got um, this one here. Amba u winchachbe. Or hayakena winchachbe. And you know what? Can you tell me what the, what you think that is? That is. The morning star. Amba un winchachbi. Amba un winchachbi. The morning star. Or hayakena winchachbi. That is the morning star. Wanari winchashtabi. Wanari Wintashtabi. Put up my A right here. Did I spell it right? No. One. Wanagi Winchashtabi. And that is your North Star. I don't know why Wagini sounds like the Spirit Star. I told you about the sky. I told you about. <laughs> okay, now we have the We. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about the Sun. The Sun is spelt like this. That's your sun. But if you think about your moon, your moon is also. I'm going to show you the differences. Now, for a full moon, and the moon also. The moon, we talk about how we, you notice in the day, uh, uh, when we tell you the uh, months of the year, every month of the year will end with the word how we. Now a full moon, we call it a how we, mima. Probably because the circle is full, I'm, I'm thinking, that is your full moon. Um, I know, um, if you go to any of the full moon ceremonies, I imagine that's what, that's the hui humna. Now we have the sun dogs that come around the moon. They're the peyuja, peyuja, peyuja. And those are the sun dogs or the sun, I don't know what, what they're called, but those are the rings. You know, you, when they have the rings around the sun, there's also another name for it. Um, if you look on the, um, the, the File Hills Tri Tribal Council app, and um, that one, it, it, it translates to um, a ring that is holding in the fire or holding in the warmth. I, I didn't write that, I, just, I used this one here. 
this one is more common. And then the, the nighttime moon also can be referred to as the Hebi we Hawi. That is the night moon. Now, they also call the sun the Amba Hawi. Sorry. And that is the sun, meaning it's the day moon, translating to the day moon and the night moon. That is the moon. There's a, a lot of different references that you can change. Like, you know, I guess for the Nakoda, it'd be like in English, you know, the, um, what would be a good example of a word I can use or a sentence I can use, you know. Some guy would say, that boy is walking down the street. Another guy would say, down the street, uh, that boy is walking. Like, you know, you, you can move your sentences around. And same as Nakoda, there's different ways of saying this. Another thing, I guess, is another, another natural phenomena, phenomenon is the Makocha Shka Shka. I bet you, you guys couldn't tell me what that is, huh? The earth, Shka Shka. Ha ha, that's an earthquake. That means that the earth is, is uh, how do you spell quake E? Yeah. Means that the earth is shaking. That's an earthquake. And then, um, then another one, I guess. I'm, I just threw this in there, not uh, just for you, for you guys, I guess. The wagia. You notice when the when the um, when it's raining and the thunder is calling, that's called, that's the Thunderbirds. I know, um, I don't know how you would, I know in the springtime, the very first, uh, the very first rainstorm, I would hear my mom and my dad saying that the Thunderbirds were back when the, when we get that first rainstorm. Um, and that just about wraps it up for today. I do have one more, actually a couple more things that I want to share with you. You know how I shared with you that if you can refer to yourself, um, I did this, you did this to me, if you can figure out all the ways of, of um, how I, what's the word I'm trying to, I'm looking for, if you can figure out everything about you, you did this, he did this to me, they did this to me, I did that to them, I gave them this, I was here, I'm going there, you know. Then if you can figure out all those, then all those, those verb conjugations, especially the really big ones, should fall into place for you. So today I'm going to um, share a little bit more about I. I. Today I'm going to share ownership with you. I'm not going to, um, I'm just, I'll write these up here. Now, this is ownership. It's when you own something. Now, when you're, when you're, you're going to say, I own something. Okma to ne mitawa. This blue pen, it belongs to me. Mitawa. This is making it mine. Mitawa. Now, I'll go down. I'll put all these down here so I can tell, show you the the change. I shared this one with you last time and then this one here. I'm only going to use this. Okay, I'll use this one.
Okay, now, this blue pen belongs to me. Nami Tawa. This is mine. And this person is always me. Yeah, it's always me. And this was the wrong one, but this is, this is, I'm telling you, I came. Now, I'm trying to show you the difference. These are all me. There's one more here. Wait, our ownership here. I have, I, I reached. I wanted to show you this one here. Those were. And this is I reached. Now why the verb conjugation is so hard is if you'll notice, me ta wa, it's mine. Mia, this is me. Wa u, I came. I ha wa i, i ha wa i, I have reached. Iha wa i. This is making, I have reached iha, and this wa i wa is making it me. I have reached. So you'll notice the difference in the verbs. I, I guess I could go iha ya hi. See, these will always stay the same as your root word. I came wa u. I mean, ooh, this is to make it to come, ooh. See, your, your, your third person singular will always be the same as this. But it's how you, you will change with the different ones. So that was just something I thought I would share with you, if you'll notice the difference in everyone. And if you can learn all those about yourself, you will be well on your way. Um, I didn't write the rest of them, if you want the rest of them. I'll get Kirsten to put them up on the board, uh, up on there. Um, like I said, just a little bit of under, helped you to understand me changes. I myself will change when we're talking in Nakoda. I hope that helped you a little bit with a, a little bit of understanding about yourself. Um, I hope you can um, practice these words. You know, practice makes perfect. If you want to learn Nakoda, take a couple of words. Go through them every day, learn a new word every day, use it in your sentence every day, whether make sentences for yourself to use these words every day, go through your dictionary. I find learning in threes is good. Um, just a little little heads up. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will see you again. Nakonia Tehina